Welcome back. In today's demonstration, I'm going to show you how to bulk load film for Photo One. Start with one of these pages. It has all the step-by-step -step instructions. I'll give you one in class, and then there are instructions on both sides. Then you're going to gather your materials. You're going to need your bulk loader and your cartridge. Your cartridge should have two donuts and the spool that goes with it. You're also going to need some scissors, a pen or pencil, and some masking tape to label your canister. Now, getting started, um, you're going to open up the bulk roller, and that should say Photo 1 on there. There's other ones, so make sure you have a Photo 1. Then take your spool, make sure the hat is pointing to the right, and the red disc is on the left of the um, bulk loader. Then Take your one piece of masking tape, make sure it's long enough that you can secure it to the top of the film, roll it all the way around the spool, and get it to the back of the film like that. Okay. Then you're going to take your canister, make sure the ditch, the flat part is on top and the ditch is pointing down, and slide the two little felt pieces over the film that's coming out of the bulk loader. Then put your two donuts on, one on each side. Make sure that the sleeve is over the, the metal canister of the, um, of the film container. Then slide the canister back in so that the little felt pieces are securely pushed into the bulk loader. Then take the crank, place it into the crank hole there, and gently crank it clout clockwise until the f you can feel the film give a little tension. Once you feel it crank clockwise and there's tension, then do it 15 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And once you have 15, then you've got 12 photos. Release it by opening up the door of the bulk loader. Take the crank out and you'll hear the film kind of spin. Then pull it out about one and a half to two inches and close the door of the bulk loader. Put the bulk loader back and now you need to do the step of cutting the lead on your film. So make sure the hat is pointing down and then cut the little tail onto the film like that. That's called the lead. It'll help you load your film into your camera. Then take a piece of masking tape place it on your film canister and clearly label your film canister. Put your first name, your last name, the period that you have photo, and then make sure that you label it with the ASA, which is 400 for photo one. You can also label it 12 photos if you want, uh, just so you don't forget how many photos are on there. Okay, and that's how you load your film for photo one. Thanks for joining me.